Hi everyone, Telecom Guy 10 here. Um, just a quick video, nothing special, no editing or anything. Um, I recently upgraded my entire home network um, with some uh, Aruba switches. I was using Cisco switches before, but um, the special thing about these Aruba switches is they have four SFP plus fully 10 gigabit per second capable um, SFP ports. Um, normally the first two ports are SFP plus and then these two are usually used for stacking but um, you can run a command in the command in the command line to actually remove the stacking from this port so you can use all four ports at full 10 gig and these are also PoE ports as well so um, they're perfect switches for my application um, here in my over overkill home network so um, we'll quickly run down the hall here to my uh, spare room where my Dell VMware server is as well as all my radio equipment. This used to be where I, I sh shot my videos but I recently moved everything around so my uh, core of my home network is in here. So I've got my Fortinet 60D PoE and then I've got a uh, APC PDU down there at the bottom uh, and then my Aris cable modem and then here's my core switch which is another one of those Aruba S2500s. Uh, uh, and you can see I've got the four uh, 10 gig ports plugged in. One of those OM3 fiber cables goes to the garage. One of them goes under the house to the dining room where we just were that plugs into that other switch. And then the other two are uh, direct attached, these, uh, these, these twin X cables that go into my Dell T710 here, which is running VMware 6.7.0. Um, so I wanted to do a test here. Um, because this is the first time I've really played around with 10 gigabit um, here in the house. Um, I just got the server 2016 virtual machine that's running on here as my domain controller and file server for the home network here. Um, I had to set up a, a, uh, an extra port group in VMware to actually get the virtual machine and I actually had to install VMware tools as well to even get it to recognize the 10 gigabit connection otherwise it was stuck at 1 gigabit. So um, I'm actually just going to run a test on iPerf here to actually see because now my entire home network is connected um, f at full 10 gig backbone speed so even though I don't have 10 gig Ethernet I can transfer files between multiple computers at a time or stream video whatever I want and I never have to worry about saturating a 1 gig uh, 1 gig link between my uh, switches so let's hop back over here to the um, to the dining room where everything's set up in here. And so what I'm gonna do is I have a, so what you're seeing here is a uh, remote desktop connection to my uh, my main, um, my domain controller here. And then, um, so that's, I've got, I'm running two sessions of iPerf. So I've got one port 5201 and 5202. Now both of these computers here are connected with ethernet uh, full full gig Ethernet to the uh, switch here and then the 10 gig link is what connects here to the core switch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize this remote desktop here. On this computer we're going to connect to the iPerf running at on 10.0.0.10 which is my domain controller port 5202 and then this one we're just going to leave it at the default 5201. Sorry about the refresh right there. So I'm going to quickly hit enter there and hit enter here and we should see full gig line speed on both. Yeah, look at that, 1.9 gigabits per second. All right, so here we got a result average of 944 megabits. And on this one, we got 941. That's awesome. So that's cool. Um, sorry for the shaky camera and, and rather lazy video production here I just wanted to quickly kind of test this and uh, share it if you have any questions or comments or whatever feel free to throw those in the comments I appreciate it thanks